Excuse me? Talk about tongue. Episode 91 of Madhouse Militia Presents. I'd like to thank the following people for contributing to the show, such as Dwight the Janitor, Waste of Memory for RogueServer.com, Dragomir for the Corn Down at Corndown.com, or FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com. We also wish to thank our patrons, such as Dharma Wheelies, Travis B., Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts, 666, Jesus Penus, and Turbo, the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about the show at immoralhole.com. You can find the live show at immoraljuice.com or rogueserver.com every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhousemilitia. You can find our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at Madhouse Militia, as well as our TikTok at Immoral Hole. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Dear Pines, how can I help you? Hello? Hello? Hi. Yes, I'm calling about some questions. <clears throat> if I'm going to be coming through with a vehicle that's kind of like in the midst of breaking down I got some fellows in the back that uh and we need some like kind of accommodations with like the kind of like the quick the quick the quick and easies of like the you know like being feel to feel you know what I'm saying I'm not sure what we're talking about right this second right like we're like we dri- we're driving on a vehicle like a kind of like a truck huh yeah we're coming through like I'm not the one operating the vehicle. Um, I don't have my license. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, we had a question. It's like we may be in the midst of breaking down. Like we kind of got some heat, some heat on our on our tails. No, you know what I'm. No, you catch our catch my drift. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, it's like we're, you know, we're going town to town and we're kind of, we're, we're quick, like, one machine, like, you know, one heat uh, as we proceed. Are you... Okay. What do you, what do you need from me? Yeah. Will you be able to, like, come out to meet us? Like, you have, like, some water or something to kind of, like, help, like, kind of, like, flap down the engine? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. You, all right. Um, or do you have any, like, a couple extra hands on you that can, like, you can help contribute for our, our efforts? I'm sorry. I don't know what, you, what you're asking me for, but I don't have any extra anything. Oh, I'm a single woman, and I just, like, or, I mean, I'm single. I've got the boys with me in the vehicle, but I myself am single, and, like, the heat on my tail and on, like, the communal tail, so to speak, it gets heavy. It's hot and heavy. I just need someone to help alleviate the pressure. The heat. Let off some steam, goats. 
Are you washing dishes back there? No, I'm just listening to you. But I'm, I'm, okay. I'm sorry, I, I can't help you, so I'm, I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, well, good night. Good night. Good evening. Thank you for calling me at Nakoma. How can I help you? Hello. Hi, before I get to... Hi there, this is Deanna Nagoma. How can I help you? There's Hello? a few of us here. Hi. Yeah, there's like Hi. A, a car full of us. My brothers okay. and I are on our way to the resort. We just wanted to make sure that you like weren't weren't one of those automated hotel machines that kinda like, you know, get trick up our triggers. Uh, no, uh, um, right. Do, do, right. Do you have a reservation? My this brothers and I. We're What's on that? our way. I believe one, I believe someone in our party does have the reservation written down. It's just that I, to be honest, I, I bopped the phone out of their hands. Like they were, they, they kind of, they both reached for the phone at the same time. And then I, I took the phone and now I have the phone. But I think okay. one of them has the reservation and like the details of our party. So I just had some questions about like coming down and like like you know the get down. Okay, where are you located right now? We're on route, so we aren't like on site yet, but we are approaching, and we just so to, like, just give me your just just pro- just let me know where you you're want- located. The front desk front desk closes in thirty minutes. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, they closed in thirty minutes. Do you think we're gonna make it? Oh my gosh! Is what? Chris want to give us a late check-in? Uh, what's the name on the reservation, sir? Why do you ask him instead of me? I because he was the person that was on the phone. Because he's the man. <laughs> no, he was the person oh that was gosh. speaking at the time. You're such a sexist. <laughs> What's the name of the reservation, no, ma'am? No. What's that? Come here. I wear the pants. <laughs> and like I okay. as of currently, I don't have the answer to the question. But I'm a, a strong enough of a woman to admit that. <laughs> okay. To talk to your females. I, I'm sorry, sir. He speaks for me. I'm not allowed I to talk to the I'm the man. Thank you for calling. I request. This is Daniel speaking. Oh, Hello? sorry. Uh, let me put you on with my... Yeah, can I put you on with my brother, uh, Dogs? Are you? Are you? Hey, uh, hey, man. Hey. Hi. Can, can, I'm up in the room, and can you tell those people in the lobby to keep it down, please? What's the room number? I can't get a wink of sleep up here. Look, look, look. Oh. They're in the lobby. The people that are yelling. They're like, I hear them. They're in the background. It sounds like you're in a club right now. What the hell? Can, can you please your room? just, just what's tell your room them number? to keep it the fuck down? But I don't want to do the whole room number room number game, sir. Just tell those people down there. Here, put me on speakerphone. I'll do it. Just tell them to keep it the fuck down. I'm trying to sleep. What does that have to do with anything? Can't just tell well, those wait. people down there to keep it down? Huh? What kind of... What? Drop. Thank you for calling the Holbrook Hotel. This is Daniel. How can I help you? Uh, hey, Daniel, I think we got disconnected there, but I was in the middle of, you know, kind of asking you, can you tell the people down in the lobby to shut up? No, unfortunately, we have not reached our quiet hours yet, so the business noise unfortunately, won't be able to be Unfortunately, unfortunately. Da- Daniel, Daniel, nobody talks like that. 
Nobody talks, says, nobody starts with a sentence, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I cannot tell them to <laughs> quiet down, sir. Unfortunately. Oh, no. Like, just, just, Daniel, just, just put me on speakerphone. I'll tell them right now. I'll tell them all. Just shut up. We're trying to sleep up here. Shut up. We're trying to sleep up here. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right. Do. And, yeah, all right. You No, you better fucking do it, man. What am I paying you for if you're not going to tell them to shut up? I paid yes, good sir. money to stay here, man. All right. All right, Daniel, you better cut your shit out, man. <laughs> okay, I hope you, you better have a good cut idea. it out. Cut it out, Daniel. Well, everything seems really quiet. One for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm really... Can I help you? Hi, I'm calling about the, you know, your wall in here, the translucent wall? The one that'll go back and forth, you know, from clear to like like a foggy smoked type thing. Nope. Uh, well, it's in the room here. But the thing is, is my friend went to walk through it, and then I flipped it, and it went foggy, and they're stuck in it now. <laughs> they got caught between the walls. You must be smoking something good. <laughs> Listen, I may have dabbled in a little <laughs> bit of cannabis tonight, but that neither changes the fact may that, I that suggest my friend is stuck mushroom. in the wall. No, no, no! I don't like I don't I like that it. on pizza. Wait, can you repeat that? Can you repeat that for the audience? So what happened? Can you Wait repeat what you just told now? me? Yeah, can you repeat yeah. that? I was I was talking about the the wall the little smoky wall thing in here and when you flip the switch it goes clear and then you flip it again it goes foggy and my friend was trying to walk through it and I flipped the switch and now he's caught between the walls. He's stuck. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't have told them better what you just said and they're gonna think I'm fucking loaded. <laughs> he's stuck though. I need help. Well, grab him, grab him firmly by the balls and pull. <laughs> no, I grabbed him by his hand, but he won't, like, I try to pull him through. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> but he's, ma'am, he's scared. He's scared, ma'am. He, you're pissing him off. He's scared. He's scared. Two fingers on his balls and pull really hard, man. No, that's no, that's how you get a pit bull to let. Hello, this is Guts Reception. How can I help you? Hey, is this the front desk? Is this yes, the front it is. Desk? How can I help you? Yeah, yes. I, I, so um, I got a little bit of a problem up here. I spilled a whole bunch of baby oil. And I'm trying to clean it up, but well, everything is just so slippery. So, what am what I supposed to do here? here? I'm on the second floor. You're on the second floor? I don't want to like tell. Well, what what are the consequences going to be? There's a whole bunch of baby oil. It's it's on all over everything. I'm trying to like pick up stuff. I can barely hold the phone. It's the whole thing. I put on speaker. Everything is slippery. Everything is wet. Everything is. It's covered in oil, and the, it's all lubricated. It's very well are, lubricated, uh, but I don't know what to do. Are you on the second floor, or you're inside the room? Where are you at? Yeah, I'm in the room. I'm in the room. What room? I'm in the room. I'm in the room. I'm, I'm trying to get outside the hallway, but I'm just making, I, I keep slipping and sliding. I mean, I'm covered What's in the room baby number? oil. From 10 to 12, my body is just dripping. What's the room number? It's sir? all over the floor. I I don't even remember right now, man. I, I'm having a really hard time. I'm going to try and go out in the hallway and see if I can get someone to help me. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, so, hold on. I got out of here. Thank you for calling Grass Valley Courtyard Suites. This is Diana. How can I help you? Yeah, Diana. I was spilling uh, baby oil. I'm sorry? I was spilling baby oil. You're smelling baby oil. No, I'm wearing that. It. Oh, no. Well, uh, when, 
Yeah, when I was flipping tongue and your mom, I spilt it. Oh, you're so funny. I hope you're having a good time. What? I hope you're having a good what do you time. Mean? Well, that would be gross because my mom's dead. I, I, I didn't. Seriously. I didn't even spill it on. I'm, well, <laughs> That's I didn't just so it. gross. <laughs> Who's an act? Thank you for calling Grass Valley Courtyard Suites. My name is Diana. How can I help you? Hi, Diana. Uh, before I get to what I need to call you about, I'd like to acknowledge that you exist and you have the right to exist. Can you say the same about us? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay. I think a good start to interacting with somebody is mutual uh, rec- recognizance of each other's a right to exist. I saw on a documentary that that's how uh, they started the uh, last productive peace talk uh, between uh, Palestine and Israel. I see. Yes, I recognize their right to exist. Okay, great. I think uh, we can talk now. Okay. My brother here had a question. Okay. Go ahead, dog. Ma'am, how much how much is too much? Good evening, our services. Berlin speaking to me, sis you. Yeah, you guys got the water park up there? I yeah, it's working. Yeah, I, I got like an eye patch and a peg leg. I'm trying to get your guys' gold. Say that again? That work. Oh, I got an eye patch and a peg leg. I'm trying to get your guys' gold. Because I, I got like a sifter tool like to search your property and stuff. Like it scans like the ground for gold kind of thing. There's like a, a theme. Oh. Like a, you guys have like... Well, you guys have, like, a pirate theme there, is what I was told. That's what Janice said. No, we do not. Who said that? No, we do not. Janice, did you talk to Janice? She's higher up than I think. Who's Janice? I'm pretty sure she's your manager or your assistant manager I have no manager named Janice, no. Well, I I think she has a hook as a hand. I'm not sure. But that's the lady that is giving me this authority here. Done them in years. Oh, I see. I see. They're easy to. Yeah. Motel you six at Homewood. Hello. Motel six at Homewood. Hello. Hi, Motel six. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Uh, my fam, my family and I are coming in. And can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. There's some noise cutting in, and I couldn't tell if I lost you or not here. We're uh, airborne right now, and the signal's kind of going up and down. Uh, mm-hmm. When we wanted to find out, my family, Axel, and everybody's with me, wanted to find out what the uh, coordinates are for the landing pad. Where's what? Yeah, the landing coordinates for the pad. I don't understand what you're asking me. Oh, yes. We're in our commercial drone, and we're getting ready to land. I wanted to make sure, what is the coordinates there? Axel, did you ask her if she couldn't hear me? Hello? Hello, ma'am? Yes. Okay, yeah, we're looking for where we put our our flying vehicle. Is there someone there to take it and park it? No. It's a driverless vehicle. Oh, I don't know nothing about those. You have a nice night. It's a commercial drone. We need to come. Hello, Torian. Hello? Hello, Can you hear me? Yeah, I made a small poopy. Sorry? In the hotel. I made a I made a small poopy in the hotel. Okay. 
how do I clean that up? Oh, what's your room number? Sir? Well, do you know what I'm talking about? What am I talking about? Could you just say it so I know we're talking about the same thing? Mm, you pooped up something? No, no, no. A, a small poopy. Could you just repeat that back to me? Because I have trouble remembering. <laughs> oh, what's your room number? No, no. I just want to make... Before I give you that, I want to make sure we're talking about the same thing. So, what is my problem? Yeah, you just tell me what's your room number. I will give you my room number. What is my problem, though? I need you to repeat that, that uh, back to me to make sure we're talking. Good evening. It's Travel Down Hotel. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? It's Travel Down Hotel. Can you hear me? I, I have a I question for you, but can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, thank God. I I was there. I checked out earlier today at 11. And uh, I was wondering, because I don't have anywhere else to go, can I just use your guys' bathroom? I need to make a small poopy. I don't have no bathroom down here. Well, how did you go? I don't use it here. <laughs> What the hell? Where do you use it at? I need to take a shit. Then go to the gas station. Nah, man, I know you can hook me up. Quit fucking around, bro. Just let me come take a shit. Go to the gas station, Just a man. small poopy. The Bray Homewood, how can I help you? Hi. I made a little accident here. I made okay. a little poopy. What do I do? How can I help you, sir? What do you well, need? I, I had an accident uh, in the room on the bed. What room? It's the bedroom. I made a little poopy. What room are you in? The bedroom. I was in the bathroom earlier. What well, room was number? Fine then. Oh, 215. I'm sorry. You scared me. What's your name? Johnson. It's the room with the poopy. Okay, you can go ahead and clean it. Yeah, it's a it's a mess. It's a great big mess, but it's just a little. Okay, you need to get out of the room then, and go well, to I another need, hotel. I need help. I need help. I'm not gonna go help you. I need you to sweep it so out. So is the room under your name? No, I was put in here by the service. Whose service? Played... Oh, with the church. I don't know whose name it's under. They said, just go here, here's the keys. You know, uh, I don't think so, sir. If you have any problems, I don't think so. call the front desk. I don't desk. think so. I well, don't that's what so. happened. They helped me. Well, I'm going to send the police to that room then. No, Why? Good evening, Traveling Hotel. Yeah, you were just talking to my dad. You said he couldn't take a shit over there? That's correct. What What the fuck's the problem? You can't take a small little shit? What the fuck's you the problem? You got some fucking issues there, hey, buddy? Man, get the fuck off my phone, dog. Who the fuck you think you is? Go to the fucking gas station or something. shit. You sitting there wilding out like you got to do something That's to do. You ain't up, doing bro. shit. You know where the fuck I work at. Come here then. You you say y'all just you fucking left. Well? Come the fuck back then. Get the fuck on. Stop fucking calling me. Hey, you bitch made. So, Bray Homewood, how can I help you? Do you have a problem doing your own job? Or do you always tell old men that they need to clean up their own mess? Look, sir, if you're playing around, this is not the time. Nobody's playing, but I don't like that you told my grandpa that he has to clean up his own shit. 
What kind of fucking hotel and, is it? And what do you want me to do? You want me to go clean it? It's your grandpa, so you can go clean it for himself, right? Who's, whose room is under? Because Why don't you, you get off your I'm fat ass and do it yourself? Why don't you get off your fat ass and do it yourself, fucking lazy ass? <laughs> You're lazy. Get back to work. Okay. Hang up okay. and get back to work. Hang up and go fucking grab a broom. All righty. All righty. Yeah, hang so up, I'm bitch. Go, I'm sending the police Hang up room like right my now. bitch. Hang up like my bitch. I'm sending the police right You ain't right going to do shit. So, Shut the fuck so up. So what room are you in? So what? I can what, in? what? You're going to send the police because someone took a poop? My ass is the room. You're going to send the police to a room because my grandpa took a shit? You got some fucking problems, lady. And what do you Why don't you hang do? up and That's go pick up room? Why don't you go That's wipe your something problem. down? Sir, look, sir, I don't have the time to be arguing with, with you. So if you have a problem, you need to get out of the hotel. If you made a mess, then we can call tomorrow the housekeeper so they can I clean it up. I made a poopy. And that's it. I made a that's poopy. All. That's all I can take you. That's all He's I can tell you. Up. He's not right, dude. He's not right in the head, and you're over here being a bitch to him? Apologize to him. That's poopy. it. And then we'll fucking call it even. People, a lot of people just call and start playing around. And I don't have the time to be playing around. So you need me to send the paramedics because he had an accident. I can send the paramedics. Does, That's all I can do. So, so this is how this is how you if gain you're control there, and if use you're there your, with him, like abuse your, you calling me? you call if the you're, fucking police if you're there with your or grandpa, the fucking why paramedic? Are you me? Why are you calling me if you're there with your grandpa? You're supposed to be taking care of your grandpa, not me. That's not my because job. you're a bitch. You're a bitch to him. That's not fucking cool. That's not customer service. Okay, you can call the manager tomorrow. And you can make your, your argument. Whatever. How about you apologize and we forget about this whole thing? I'm not, apologize I'm not, to my grandpa. I'm tell him, you I'm sorry, I got you mad at you down, for making a small You can come down poopy. and I can call the police. So I'm going to tell, whatever you're telling me, you can come down here. So you're you a said, snitch, you, you said you can't handle 215? your own problem. That's cool. You said you're in room 215? You're okay. a snitch and you can't handle, you're a snitch and you can't handle your own problem. That's good to know. Okay. Good job. You're a snitch, and you can't handle your own problems. Gotta call the pig. You gotta call the pig. Okay. No. You mad because I'm telling the truth? Sir, I don't get mad. You know what? I don't get mad at people. You can say whatever you say. I just don't have the time to be I You sound you. mad. Okay. You sound mad. Okay. Oh, yeah, because what you do is so, so what important. what room are you in? You're such an important person. What room are you in? My ass is the room. How about my fucking big fat ass is the room? Okay. Should be really big then. Yeah, just like your big fat ass. I can look at it. I'm looking at it right now. Yep, yep. Why don't you turn around for me? Mm-hmm. Give me a little spin. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Give me a little spin. We're looking at you right now. Isn't that right, Grandpa? Take a look at that. I made a poopy. You You're over here life. fucking around with a handicapped person. So this you is a, okay, okay you know what? I'm, I know, okay, let me call your number. Let me give the police your number because I, I honestly don't have the time to be dealing with you right now. You're not even in a hotel, so you're just like playing around. So doing is, your is that what you do? So what you do, like every little problem? Hey, is this the front desk? This is the front desk. I can help you. Yeah, so I had a little bit of an issue in the pool. I was in there today. I was in the pool, and somebody, I watched them spit right into the pool. Like three oh. times. So they, they went underwater, they came up, and they spit all the water out right back into the pool. And I told them, and we kind of got into a little bit of an altercation, I mean, there were no no hitting. I mean, I, I hit him a, little, a couple times, but it wasn't anything big. You know, I just bop. I went, I went, I went you can't do that. Pop. You know, you can't do that. Pop. Man. But, you know, it wasn't anything crazy. But I just want to know, like, like, uh, are we allowed to spit in the pool? Like, how does this work? It's kind of gross. So you're you're asking, are you allowed to spit in the pool? Yeah, I, so I got in a fight with a guy because he said, hey, I can do that. I can go, When I go underwater and I get water in my mouth, I can spit it back into the pool. I said, no, you can't. That's gross. You can't spit the... <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening to you, to you. Oh, you hear me? I thought you hung up. I'm sorry. 
No, no, no. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm no, you spit it back in, and I'm just I'm fucking confused, man. Like, I, like, like, you shouldn't be doing that. It's gross. There's germs. They're all using this pool. There's other people in this pool. Okay. So I hit um, him. So I hit him just a couple times. What location are you calling right now? Well, obviously, the one that you're at, man. I wouldn't be like, I know the number. I'm staying here. I called my phone because I didn't want to call from the room number because I, I just want to understand what's going on before. Okay. Um. So, first off, uh, our pool is closed. Yeah, it was earlier today. Okay. So yeah, for, first off, our our pool is closed. Yeah, I know. It was earlier today. Okay. And you're Wait, saying that you, you were to be in closed the pool all day? Area? There were some signs. I thought they were like I thought you guys forgot to move them. Nope, no signs. Oh right, well, I was I was in the pool today. Is that why it tasted so funny? Yeah, you were in the pool today. And yeah. can you tell me what the weather was today? No. You can't. Damn, do you think you're so smart, huh? Well, I'm just, I'm just asking, you know, um, common sense you know, questions. You're trying you know to make I mean? me feel like an idiot. No, I couldn't. I was drunk when I was in the pool. I'm oh, sorry, okay. Man. I'm on well, well, that's I'm different. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm trying to get in that pool. I'm just trying to like sit back, max out, you know, pop off a little bit, and then it's time. <clears throat> well, I mean, um, I mean, I appreciate you telling me, uh, but I mean, I'm I'm trying to piece everything together. I'm I'm sure you can understand. Uh, of course, uh, you know, I'm uh, while I'm piecing everything together, I'm, I'm also trying to sympathize with you. You know. Um, no, I mean, but, I, yeah, it's, yeah, you know, just explain to me your logic, buddy. I'm not retarded, but. You I know, like, you. I'm just yeah. trying to pop off yeah. in the pool a little bit. I was just yeah. popping off a little bit, and this other guy came in there, and he was just kind of getting in my grill, you know? He kind of, yeah. kind of like, got up in my in my shit. So I popped yeah. him. I pop. I went, wait, pow, pow, with my, with my fist. Not not a weapon. There's no weapons involved. Just my, you know, I just gave him a little, little pop with my hand. Okay, yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. You know, you, you do. Yeah, you know, like, like, you know, he, he got within six feet. He got close to me. So, you know, I gave him a little mm-hmm. pop. Mm-hmm. Well, um, hey, would that, you like uh, to speak to my manager? I mean, uh, it's whatever you want to do, you know. Um, yeah, hold on, hold on. He's... Here's my manager. Here's my manager. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me transfer yeah, yeah. him to you. Here's my manager. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, Hello. Hello. Yeah, can fuck you hear me? me? Fuck me. Hey. Yeah, I, I've just been brought in to, to here. What's going on here? Okay. Um, would you care to explain <laughs> to your manager? I am the manager. What's the situation? You oh, no, need to I mean, explain like, it uh, to me. Oh, no, I don't have to explain anything to you because your, your employee oh, knows everything oh, about I, it. Do you work at the front desk of the hotel my employee's at or... I don't know if, if your employee is here or not. That's the thing. What do you mean you don't know? You you just don't really want to deal with the problem, or? I didn't say that. Well, you kind of implied it. Like, can you explain well, the situation, or are you just going to ignore me? I didn't. Or... I didn't, I didn't you don't, imply you don't it really at all. care. I mean, you no. got another employee there. You... If if I, if I didn't care, then I, I would hang up by by now. What's well? What's going on here? What's going? My employee said something about spit in a pool. What's the situation? What's the context here? He would know better than I would, since he was there. I I, mean, I don't even know your name. Like I I feel like I'm talking to a shadow here. Like I'm shadow boxing here. <laughs> but your employee would know everything. Yeah, so I'm just supposed to talk to my employee, and you just transfer me for no reason. That's what you're saying. He was, you well, he, no, he was there. You take no responsibility. Can, can I, I get that, that signed, or do you want to write that down on a piece of paper that you take no responsibility? You're just speaking for me now. You're well, speaking. then, okay, go ahead and enlighten me. What's going on here, sir? Would, would you keep on? Would you like to keep on speaking for me? Uh, I mean, I can. 
All right, go ahead. Go right ahead you, like, you were have at it. You were saying something about uh, spitting in his mouth. I'll, I'll, I'll put down the phone for something. for a minute so you can speak for me, something and then I'll pick it back up. Okay. That, that's what I heard. I mean, I I wasn't. I just came in. Oh no, it's 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 a complete brain. Well, well, but, sure. Um, you don't have the contact, so you don't have the really? contact. It's like, yeah, really. It's like a scam call or something. It's not even a scam. I think there's just like some punk that. Have to no, pay no. Yeah, he doesn't have the contact, have to, like, so he can't really up, understand like, us. Like, common sense questions. Yeah. And they're getting them all wrong. We hear it. Put him on. <laughs> Put him on. <laughs> are they pretending to be a guest or are they? Yeah. Like, like, a, like if if they're actually here, then they would know like right off the bat. Right. Know? But like I know they're not here, so I'm just I can, I can give you his room number, like, hey, like, but you, you just know, didn't care. What does the lobby look like? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Hello? Oh no, these are just these are just guys that they're just trying to have a little fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't blame him. Yeah. Yeah, we were all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sir, it's been raining all day. I mean, I can give you the information. You just don't really care. Uh, uh, we do have Bindi. I hear you talking um, shit. It's been on the left hand side right shit. Field desk. How can I help you? <laughs> Hello? Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what was going on earlier with that uh, lady at the front counter. Um, yes, uh, what lady? I, I I don't know. It was an older lady. She was saying something about how she had to spit in my mouth. I don't really get how that's... She was saying it was policy. Uh, what was your, uh, what was your question or uh, situation? Well, I was just trying to get gas. And then she's like, oh, hold on a second. You can't get gas until I spit in your mouth a little bit, you dirty little. And then she cut off. She cut herself off. So what was that okay. about? Like, I, I don't see how that's policy. I don't really get that. Okay. I'm trying to figure uh, let out. Let me get my manager. Let me get my manager real quick. Well, are they right there? Or? Uh, there's something wrong. I'm sorry. This is Shannon. Can I help you? Yeah, Shanna. I'm trying to figure out what was going on earlier with that uh, front desk person. They're older. The older front desk lady? Yeah, because I was trying to get some gas. And then when I came up to get some gas from the front uh, counter, they were like, oh, well, it's policy. I need to spit in your mouth, you dirty little. And then they cut themselves off. What was that about? What, what were they talking about? That? Who said what? It was like an older lady. Okay, and she said what? She said, oh, like before I give you the gas, I need to spit in your mouth a little bit. It's policy. I don't think she said that. Yes, she did. I mean, I have it recorded. Do you want want the recording? Yeah. She said, oh, open wide. Oh, I need to spit in your mouth, you dirty little. And then she cut herself off. Did you, you, you could, tell a customer you condone you had, that behavior, or mouth? is that your stance? No, I mean, not I at all. This like I, I honestly don't think it. If you don't I, really I care. Don't, I don't think that happened. You're calling me a liar, then. I could take this to the corporate. I mean, yeah, please. You you should probably she do did, that because um, I don't think our, she, any she of our cashiers my do that. She did An spit older in my lady mouth, was she white or black? I, I, I'm not sh- mixed. I'm not sure. She was mixed. Darker. Yeah, we. Darker. I don't know. I I think you have the wrong store. No, it was definitely there. Yeah, you're just, you're just trying to cover up for her. It seems like. No. You don't no. really believe me. I would not cover up for I something mean, like that. She was talking about yeah, but some tongue um, in I there. think you need to um call but, for slipping a tongue that. in my mouth. She was talking about slipping yeah. that tongue in my mouth. Okay. See, you're just laughing. It, you're just laughing at me. Okay. And now you're now you're I pressing buttons. Her. Yeah, go ahead and I, call I, corporate. I feel like this call is over. It. I would you're, definitely you're just, do that because. Yeah, the call's over. You have a good night. She was she was putting saliva in my mouth, ma'am. Thank you for calling Pilot One Nine Six. How can I help you tonight? Good night. 
Oh, Pilot196, hello, how are you? Doing all right, how can I help you tonight? This guy Dwight in the back, when I parked my truck, he was trying to fuck me. All right, would you like us to call the police? No, I, I want him to fuck me. I'm just looking for him. I can't find him. Thank you for calling Oasis. Hello? 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 Yeah. Hey, hey, buddy, how are you? Pretty good, you? I have a quick question. Me and my boyfriend are on the phone right here. We're wondering if... Um, you're the cashier, the, like, taller gentleman, right? Mm, somewhat. The Wonderwall. My boyfriend, he said for us to call him. We're, we're parked in the back, and their truck is called Big Truckin'. We're wondering if uh-huh. when you're on your lunch or maybe when you get off work, if you can come pay us a visit in the truck. We want to um, talk to you about some personal things. Yeah, you can help us. Thanks for calling Logan McCollum. This is Kiki. Speaking yeah, yeah, hi. No, no, no. Don't even don't even finish that. Don't even finish that. Listen, when I got the shower, you know, I paid for the shower, but I requested a heterosexual shower, and I'm I'm obviously in a homosexual shower, and I need to have someone change me to a different shower. <laughs> well, sir... What shower number is he? <laughs> no, first of all, he said heterosexual shower. He want a homosexual shower. Um, yeah. we don't have. Yeah, I can, I can smell, I can smell. The homosexual has used this shower. I can smell them. Now I need to be moved to one that's just had heterosexual males in it. Mm, stop smelling yourself. You have a good day, sweetheart. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am that was a weak comeback. Awesome. Rolling tea. What? Rolling tea. No, no, I don't want no tea. I have I have a allergy to leaves. Like okay. hot water. Uh yeah, I have a question though. Mhm. Okay, uh do you have uh rock you have the Rockstar energy drinks or the Monster energy drinks? Yes. Okay, what prices are they going for? Do I get more if I buy them like like in a bulk rate? If I buy them like two at a time, what do I get? Uh, no, we don't have a special right now. The distributor uh, took took the specials away for the next couple of weeks. Okay, who do, who distributes them? Just just out of curiosity. I, no idea. Is it Immoral Juice? Are they the ones that distribute that? I have no idea. Okay, because me, me and the moral juice, we've had a problem, man. Like, all the time, they sit there, they keep tainting. They tainted all my Monster Energy drinks. And they kept putting the juice, the juice of kangaroos in them. And then one time there was a porcupine quill. I think they're trying to poison me. That's quite possible. But they're, they're very, very angry, very angry sons of bitches, you know what I'm saying? Big, big angry people. And mm-hmm. I think they have an exotic zoo, and they they pluck things off of them, and they put it in there. And, they and I'm told out. they're into child trafficking yeah. too. Ugh. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Gross. yeah. So put your tinfoil that's hat on. Epst- and watch out for the government. That's some that's some Epstein shit. That research. Little yeah. Up. Hello, who is this? Travel stop. Yeah, I got the tinfoil hat on because of my schizophrenia, because of the. The reptilian army and the government. Good Daddy, you got this. Good afternoon. Thank you for choosing Pilot 302. This is Janet speaking. How may I help you? Hello, Janet. Hey. Yeah, Daddy was supposed to jump in, but I do have my uh, my tinfoil hat, so it's all good because I, I got schizophrenia. I'm here, baby. You know, you know what I'm saying, Janet? Thank you for calling Pilot Travel Centers. Yeah, Pilot Travel Is Center. I am, I am not schizophrenic. I am not crazy. I am not on any drugs. Hello. Is is this Janet? Hi. Janet. Did you sit on the phone? Hi, 
right, this is Janice. Janice, baby, see, I was trying to talk to you. I had come in there earlier, and I know y'all got, like, a couple dollars for a gallon of gas and, like, a couple bucks for a bag of chips. But I just, you know, I couldn't tell you right then and there because I'm very bashful. I just wanted to hit you back up and see what's good with you. How much for some Janice? What could, what do I have to do to get some Janice in the menu? You know what I'm saying? Janice is married. I mean, are you happily married? I am. You y'all want to? You know what I'm saying? I could be a third. I could I could be the fucking the referee, just be in the middle. You know what I'm saying, Janice? Oh, I gotta I I gotta go back to work. I'm sorry, baby. Baby, don't leave me like that, Janice. I just you know just something about you just spoke to me. I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. We got a store full of people. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, baby. Bye. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Hugh at the Ramada. I was just returning a call. I believe the call dropped. Excuse me? Um, I was just speaking to some gentlemen on this line, and I believe the call dropped. I was just giving giving the number a call back. Who are you? My name is Hugh. I'm with the Ramada Hotel. And whoever was uh, speaking to me on this number, uh, they were telling me that they're a guest here and that they were swimming in the pool in 30-degree weather. What? Yeah. Ha ha. Okay. Um, well, I mean, uh, if they're not there anymore, then I hope they have a good day. Uh, if anything else comes up, uh, they know where to reach me. Thank you. Oh, really? Because I can tell you right now, my husband... Hello? You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. On your show? Oh, you have a show? Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk-ass bitch? (laughs) Your wife has a show? You fucking loser. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Yeah, whatever. (laughs) All right. Uh, did, did somewhere you need, and we'll see what you are, you little bitch. Did you did you need any more assistance? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. All righty. Well, There's you have a good day, bitch. okay? All right. You're you a, a fucking rest- illiterate. You got a fucking degree, because I got a fucking degree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. I don't give a fuck where you're from, bitch. Anything else I can do for you? Yeah, you got a fucking degree from fucking. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Can you finish? Can Some you... bullshit fucking All right. online bullshit. There we go. Anything else for you? What? Or or anything else for anything else for me? If you think you're bad, why don't you fucking talk to me then, boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did call back, didn't I? Well, let's go do something about it. What I want to know is is what your wife's show is. You're talking you, shit. Well, she she was telling me she had she had a show. You're talking shit. You can't back it up, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> You're a fucking joke. I'm gonna tell you right would now, you, buddy. Would you like anything else? Because because y'all y'all are the one that called me. Now now I have the number. Go get a fucking life. Get a life, you fucking bitch. Okay. Well, is there a reason why I have your number? Because cause I, I I got the call from this number. Get a fuck. You call me down. <laughs> what the heck? You would be the first motherfucker uh, to ever call me down. Okay. No, uh, I mean, I don't expect you to calm down. You're not that smart. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do you agree with me? You must be a bad motherfucker if you're going to calm me down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking loser, dude. No, do you have anything else? You can't even get no than... pussy or do nothing but harass somebody 
On TV. On TV? You now, I have, now, now I have a show? I've got a show on TV? You ain't shit. I'm going to tell you right now, motherfucker. I think your phone's cutting in and out. You better calm your jets. I don't understand why you're getting all worked up. Well, I'm going to fucking make something happen, boy. I don't know why you're screaming. You fucking weirdo. Are you mad? You shut the fuck up, you punk. What are you talking to me about, boy? Are you mad at something? Oh, you're... Where are you calling from? A fucking nursing home or a mental facility? <laughs> You're living in a dream world, you fucking geek. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. I'm listening. You better be spamming a fucking somebody else's number. Love 206, Jesus speaking. How can I help you? What's good, baby? Not not too much, honey. How are you? Oh, well, you see, I'm back here in the big truck. On the side of my truck says big truck, and I was wondering if, you know, one of you big ladies can come kick it with your boy for a little bit. No, I'm sorry. I'm a lesbian, so if you won't help me. Hello, someone. Eight Reggie speaking. Hello. 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 Reggie. Yeah. yeah. Hey Hello? Reggie. Um, I'm in the back. I'm in the back. You know. Uh, I'm I'm in the big blue truck. It says Bacon on the side. Mm-hmm. Um, I might I might need your help, bro. When you're when you're off, or maybe like you know, twenty minutes to spare. I might need your help, man. All right. Um, I got a big fat lot lizard here named Crispy. She's a she's a fucking lot lizard and I can't handle all of it, bro. I'm gonna need to throw some your way, bro. You can handle my lightweight with me, you know what I'm saying? You need to throw some what away? I got this big bitch in the fucking truck with me, bro, and I can't handle it, bro. She just she won't let up. So I'm gonna need to throw some of this big bitch y'all away, man, so you can handle it with me. Unless you can't handle it. And this that's what you're saying, you can't handle it. You scared. Yeah, I'm scared. I I can't do that. I'm not, 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 I'm Hi. Loves? No, hi. I didn't. I didn't talk right away, and I made you look stupid. How does it feel? The mic is up. I don't know. Yeah, let's go and have Lada help you. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hi, Gandu. Um, we are in the back of the truck. Me and my lesbian. Uh, her name is Bappy. Hi. And she wants to. She wants to kiss and touch your face. Who? My I my do. lesbian friend here. Her name is Bappy. You sound like a pretty lady. Are you woman or man? Hello. Hello. Idiot. Hello, Idian Sanavabish. My friend Bappy is here. She wants to kiss you and touch you on your lips. Hello. Hello? Hi, how you doing? Good. Hi, how you doing? Good, and yourself? Do we got an issue here? Or does that does that guy not understand me or something? Or do we got an issue? No, uh, he's just not from here, sir. What can I help okay, you with? Okay, who am I to now? Uh, my name is Leith. I work in the casino out here at the Yellowstone Travel Plaza. Oh, Lace, you're just the guy that my wife, Bappy, that's him, right, Bappy? That's, it was him? Yeah, that's the guy I was eyeing earlier. You see, me and Bappy, we're, yeah, what's up, buddy, what's up? 
Not much. What do we What do we need? I just wanted to call and tell you you got a big fat ass on you, and I always wanted to smack it and kiss it. Excuse me? You yeah. heard me, me and Bappy. We want to smack and kiss your ass. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we're in the we're in the truck in the back, the big truck, the big blue one. We were wondering if you want to come down and kick it with us for a little bit. Uh no. I'm working. What time are you off? Here, talk to Bappy. Maybe she'll convince you. Hi. Yeah, we're both we've got like our skin is really warm and like our our genitals kind of like the, are nice and moist for you. And, like, we can do some nice, sexy tricks together when we swap our our fluids. Yeah, no, not right now. Um, i got to get back to work, though, so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, we're looking forward to it. Bye. Stay fresh. Are you afraid of pussy, bro? Thanks for calling Loves and Organs. Loves and Organs. How can I help you? Loves yeah. Malachi. Hello. Yeah. 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 There was no happy faces or clean places in your establishment. Okay. Sorry about that. Wait, do I get a coupon or how do I? Uh, Five dollars off talk, kind of thing. You want to talk to the manager? Well, none of you guys look happy to be there. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty happy. Like ten dollars off, or well, you weren't smiling. You weren't really smiling. You kind of weren't expressing yourself. Uh, here, I'll give me one I mean, second. I come, I'll go if here. I if I come back I'm, again, can you smile for me when I when you check me out, or uh, I'll try to. And, and can you call me sir? Uh, Yes, sir. Yeah, can you say, like, oh, thank you, sir, for buying this item, you know? Oh, I, I like you, sir. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be at my job. I love you, sir. Oh, please keep coming back. I love you so much, sir. Can you do that? Or, cause I'll give you a uh, five-star review. I can try, but that seems a little that. overboard. No, it's not nothing, like, like uh, creepy or anything. I just, if you could just say, oh, I love you, sir. I love Oh, you're so, you're you're so good at buying stuff. Like you know exactly what you need. I really love your business. I'll try. <laughs> well, I I don't mean to be too forward, but can you spit in my mouth a little bit? Like if I just open it up, or I'll give you ten ten dollars. I'll give you a five star review on Yelp. I mean. That'll really help your because it's, it's not a small business, but it's like a medium business. If I give you a five star review on Yelp, you guys will be, you know, you guys will be doing good. You just spit in my mouth a little bit. I mean, not much, just a little bit. Slip some tongue in there. <laughs> uh, what was your uh, name, Malachi? Yeah. You were Malachi. Yeah, slip some tongue in there. Let's get some tongue action going. Oh, do you want do you want to talk to my sister? No, it's all right. I need to get back to work. Sna- uh, snappy, come in here. Hi, I'm a spicy sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm letting you guys go. My... No. Talk, talk, talk about tongue. Yeah, our mouths are open for you. Thank you for calling Loves in Missoula, Montana, 753. This is Karen. Help me I get the call. Hi, Karen. Hello? Karen. Hello? Hi, hello? Karen, yeah, hello? What are you guys doing? Goddamn, Karen, you're so fucking sexy. I wish I could just look at you again. Shit show. I think you're calling Loves in Missoula. This is Corey. How may we help you? Hi. Hello? I could be coming through there. Hello? Can you hear me? Uh-huh. I'm going to be coming through there soon with my husband, and we're going to be taking a shower. We just had some questions about what will be allowed in there. 
We just uh, want like her to what? know if we're both allowed in the shower at the same time. Yeah, we can have two people in a shower at the same time, yep. Can oh, wow, get... that's great. Can't we be getting frisky? Um, You've got about an hour. Anything Ooh, else? That... Oh, baby, that... Perfect. That seems like more than enough. Hey, you time. have a great night then. Thank Little you. Wolves. Oh. Thanks for calling Les four seven eight Nuttall Falls. This is Melody, how may I direct your call? Uh Melody, Melody. Are you there? I'm here, are you here? Melody. Yes, what can I do for you? It's Dwight. He's in my truck and he won't stop fucking me. He's right here. Uh, loves, loves, travel st- loves Travel Stop. How may I help you? Do well, I call Lowe's or Loves? Thank you for calling me, Kevin Flying J. This is Taylor. How may I help you? What's up, McKenna? Yes. Um, Bappy, my wife, actually told me to call back. She's right here. She had Hello? to confess to something. She had Hello. to confess to something bad that happened in your store. Yes. We were in there, and there was a gentleman, and he was hoggling at me with his eyes. And I uh, found myself a bit um, put put on the edge in, a, in an aroused manner. So my husband and I were hoping we would be able to find this gentleman again so that he could give the googly eyes at me and if he could perhaps be our the third we've been searching for. Hello? Sorry about that. I had a guest. Um... Can you run that last bit by me one more time? There was a gentleman in the store, and he was hog-goggling at me with his eyes. Like, they were kind of, like, bulging out of his face, and it's like I found it quite enticing. Um, And it's like uh, my husband and I have been searching for a third to 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 join us in the bed. So we were hoping we could come back and find that man in there. You see, I I suffer from erectile dysfunction, and my wife has an immune deficiency that leaves her pussy really dry. So we need to get a third person to come and join and spice things up. She gets really wet like that, and then I take my blue chew, and it all works out in the end. And then we get a third person happy to get involved. That's all we want. That's all we want, baby. Yeah, I am so sorry, but we are not going to be able to help you with that. Um, if you would like, he works to find with you. He works with you. He works there. He, he I'm he's so handy. sorry. I'm not going to help you um, harass one of my employees. What? I'm, I'm sorry. Harass? What the McKenna? What? what the fuck is your problem, McKenna? We're not harassing. We're nice people. You're out of your mind, you McKenna. You have a fantastic night. Real. <laughs> Thank you for calling Love Story 334. This is Melissa. How can I help you? Hello, Melissa. Hello. I'm trying to get my bitch mounted by a stud. Could you help me out with that? <laughs> uh, depends. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, okay, what's up? I, I, I'm I'm in my truck. Yeah, though I'm breeding. I'm breeding dogs. Oh, really? This is serious. Yeah, I'm trying to get my bitch mounted by a uh, stud. I mean, I have the dogs here. You guys, you guys aren't gonna call the cops on me, are you? I don't think so. I mean, there's one leaving right now. I mean, if, if my stud just you know, it's inside, you're not gonna like get suspicious, are you? That's not going to be a problem. I don't if, think so. If my, stu- if my studs start shooting sticky, sticky inside, I'm a bitch. I mean, that's just natural because I'm a breeder. That's a yeah, natural part of the process. I 
My yeah, my back. side just shoots its liquid up in the bitch. So okay, that's that's just perfectly normal. Don't question that. Oh no, I'm not. The the stud needs a wide selection of bitches. So I get that. If it starts sniffing you, just push it away. Don't 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 acknowledge it. It's a great Dane, so it's a very okay. proud dog. So you just kind of you just kind of gotta push it away. Okay. Okay. All what right. What's your name? I'm Melissa. Melissa, just just push my stud away. Don't don't touch his. You know. No, I won't. Don't let that don't worry interfere that. with our business. Because I, I, I really need a I Love Chicago bumper sticker. <laughs> like, uh, I don't okay. know how I'm, how I'm supposed to continue going on the road without that. I don't think we have that here. Need, <laughs> well, I need a bumper sticker of some kind. I mean, do you want to talk to Snappy? I mean, I, I feel like I'm not helping you out very much. Um, I, no, you're fine. I, is there something I, I can help you with? This is my sister, Snappy. Hello. Hi. I was hoping you had some extra bumper stickers that I could, like, use as, like, pasties for my nipples. Oh, my God. This call? I don't even know what to do with it right now. I'm pretty positive. Um, We're responsible. So, that's good. I'm I'm glad. Uh, is we there recycle? anything I can help you with? Because I've got to go. Well, Aww. any waste that needs to be recycled, we recycle it, and then you know, any yeah, kind of sticky, I'll do... sticky, we just we shoot that straight into you know. We don't waste moon. that. We don't waste that stuff. We just yeah. I'm we don't want it to go to waste. It, it, you could just keep replenishing and replenishing, you know, because <laughs> once you get one sticky sticky going. <laughs> Then you get more sticky, sticky going because they make babies, right? You you get what I'm saying, right, Melissa? You don't want to waste a sticky, sticky. Right. No, I get that. Yeah, because because you could get more sticky, sticky from the sticky, sticky. Nine. Nine. Yep, I got you right there. No problem. She just set the phone down. Oh, that's your phone. Okay. What the hell? Melissa. Okay. We are good to go. Did you need your receipt? I am okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Actually, do you want to hear? Story 12. Stephanie, can I help you? Hi, Stephanie. Store eight twelve. Is Stephanie? Can I help you? Hello. Hello. I'm trying to put milkman on. Boise Flying J. How can we help you? Hello. Hi, Boise Flying J. How can we help you? Yeah, Flying J. I need to put milkman on. He's gonna answer. Just give me one second. Sure. Just one second. Oh. This is Milkman, 98.6 The Mow. Excellent. Yes. Hey, I just want to find out, do you carry a moral juices? I'm looking for a particular product they have, the Bud Milk. It's really great flavor, the Double Dutch Bud Milk. Uh, if I'm hearing you right, you said, what kind of milk? Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Cause it sounds yeah. like butt milk. Milk man, ninety eight point six to mouth. My favorite by Immoral Juices is that bud milk. Excellent. You you do a very good job with this. Uh, bull uh, to, uh, that. All right. So, uh, I like so to get this. We've pack. got some uh, some some chocolate milk, That's some true. strawberry milk. Uh, uh, that's that's as far as we're getting with the milk ah, for you, though. Ah, ah. You know what we've got? Protein. Uh, okay. We've got protein it, shakes it for you. It should be right next to the muscle milk, butt milk. Yeah. Let me <laughs> ask my family what 90. flavor they like. Snappy. 
Guava milk. I want you kids to speak up. Guava milk. Fortnite. Do they got mustard juice? Uh, elevator. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea. Uh, yeah. What's Casino? This is Andrea. Let me help you. Hi. Yeah, Hello. um, we got into the elevator a little while ago. And it got stuck. You know, it stopped for a little while. And I don't know, it wouldn't go. So my brother, he went up on top. But now it's go, it's, it's stopping and going. I've always wanted to know how an elevator works, so I got up top here. Okay, so you're in there now right how now. How elevator could go? Yeah, I'm in here right now. Which which one's the number? Which number are you in? Uh, I don't know. Cause we're we're, having we're drinking. Fun. Okay, we what floor? On what floor? Here. <laughs> We brought what laundry are you on? cooler full of beer. Well, what, what floor we're are We're on the elevator. No, we're on the elevator. Yeah, we're in between the floors. Wolf. I we're, know which floor we're, we're on top to of the. We're on no, we're on top of the elevator. I'm trying okay, to get hold on just a third floor. Let me let me get security. Hold on just a minute, okay? Oh hold no, on. no, not security. I, I, I can't. keep well, biting. Hold on, I keep Thank biting you. the cable. I keep biting the cable. You're using that one tooth he got. It's a nice big tooth. Turn your smile upside down. The pollen in the elevator with that echo sound. This is the song I listen to in rehab. Put me back to sleep. Madhouse militia. You could fall in the vagina. I don't think they're coming back. Maybe the security can help They're us. probably not coming back. We didn't even explain security how there's a group of us in here. And we're all very fat. And we think really we don't nice. Will they open we're up We're three up men in a trench coat. Hello? 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 I think, hang on. I think I can get us down. I got the drill. I think if I undo this panel, we might be able to get back down. Security. Hello, security. Good evening, the Western Lake, Las Vegas. This is Amanda. How may I direct your call? What the fuck just happened? What? Could you repeat that? Yes. Good evening, the Western Lake, Las Vegas. How may I direct your call? Um, I'm I'm sorry. I I'm a little distracted right now. I forgot what I was going to say. I. Uh, I think I've fallen in love with you. I've never heard a voice quite like that. Oh, oh okay, thank you. Uh, all right, well, I, I mean, I guess we got to go get married now. Uh, okay. So I'll come I'll come down. I've been carrying a ring around with me, in, you know, just in case something like this happens. I like to watch a lot of romantic movies on the Hallmark Channel. And if anything, it's taught me always be prepared. And And so I'm ready to start my life with you the rest of my life. Okay, okay. Okay, um, what size ring do you take? Because I can get this resized. I know a jeweler. <laughs> oh, no. That's all right. That's all right. How may I help you? Well, you would be helping me uh, by letting me share my dozens of dollars I have in my savings account. <laughs> Sounds like mine. <laughs> Yeah, see, You're we were funny. meant to be together. Yeah. yeah, see, I'm a I'm a funny guy. We're meant we're meant we're meant to be together. And so so I like well, how do we get this started? Like uh what size wedding dress do you require? <laughs> oh, no, thank you. I'm already married. Oh, well that's okay. I'm a polygamist. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so well, I, that me that means no never mind, no never mind to me. I just haven't found oh. my first wife yet. Oh. So I, I got to get this polygamous thing off the ground. It's a big tax scheme. And if I, you know, if I'm a polygamist with no wife, you know, they're going to be on to me. So, yeah, yeah, you so can't come on, have help, that. Help, help me. Yeah, help help me out. I'm going to launder like several rolls of quarters from the local laundromat. And I'm going to wash that money clean and, you know, we can get half. We'll, we'll take half. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Well, how many help you? Did you need? Did you need something? Yeah, I t- I told you, and then you laughed at me. No, no, I I just I I'm working. I didn't know if you needed something because I'm working here at the hotel. Did you Did you yeah. have a reservation? Did you need to book something? I'm st- I'm I, I'm already here. No, no, I I'm already here. I, oh, okay. I'm outside. Yeah, I'm outside. I just pulled back up to the hotel, and I'm looking through. Can you move a little bit to the left? <laughs> I'm not out outside where like, anybody like, can see me. I'm the, the operator. Like two, like like two steps to the left. Okay. All right. One hop this time. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to? I can push the button on the elevator and and I can take the elevator down. Oh, perfect. You know what? Hang <laughs> on. I'm gonna get in the I'm gonna get in the elevator right now with you. I'm, all right. Hang okay. on. I'm getting in. Okay. I, I'm gonna right. head. I'm gonna head down. I'm heading down to come come get you. All right. All right. I'm gonna. Right. Come, I'm, gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna boop you on the nose like a little doggy. Okay. All right. I'm gonna well, be like you're just so cute. Boop right on the nose. <laughs> okay. Do well, so you know how to push the button? Push the button and come meet me in the elevator. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll come down. You come up. Okay. We'll okay. Middle. All right, let's do All that. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. If you, I love if you, you need anything, my pleasure. You have a good night, okay? No, no, I love you. I love you. Okay. I love you, too. Aw, uh, you <laughs> Okay, I'll see you in a minute. All right, you have a great night. All right, bye. Bye. This is this is like that one jump scare yes, from like two thousand. This is hotel operator Angela. How may I assist you? Yeah, how you doing, Angela? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Oh, you have like a flowery speech pattern or something. I'm <laughs> Thank in you. This room. I'm staying in this room. You have a flowery speech pattern. Can you hear me? Yeah. How you doing, Jessica? How you doing? Can you press I'm that button well. or? I'm sorry, can you, can what you did you need help with? Well, do you have the button? Can you press it? The button for what? Well, I'm stuck in this elevator. Can you press that button? Or I got to twirl around like a ballerina. Can you press that button? So I'm, I'm sorry, stuck you're here? stuck in the elevator? Yeah, I don't want to get maintenance involved or security. Or, I don't have a yeah. button to press for I would have to call them. Uh, um, which what, elevator what, what, what are you, you in? Wait, wait, wait a second. What do you mean you don't have a button to press? There's no button for me to press. I'm a hotel have operator. You, have I you can... never encountered an issue with the elevator, or I feel like this is uh, something simple? Yeah, I'm gonna can't. I'm gonna transfer so, you over to security. I feel like you're giving me no, no. You're trying to get me in trouble. No, I don't have I, any weapons. I'm no to... drugs. I am. I am not schizophrenic. Of... I am not crazy. I've never worn a tinfoil hat. I'm not. No, I am normal. Okay, I'm trying to get you and out of the elevator, and, and that's I the only way. I will spin around to prove. No, 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 Jessica. <laughs> Real security. How can I help? Step. Yeah, is this a security or something? Yeah, how can I help? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'll spin around to prove I'm normal, like Michael Jackson style. Like, because you guys think I'm crazy, like I have drugs in my system or something. Like, I'm on crack. Like, I've been doing a line of crack. Like, you know, like, oh, this guy, you know, he's snorting some kind of white dust. Like, oh, we can't trust this guy. Like, oh, what's his ID? What's his name? Where is he staying at? What kind of shoes is he wearing? Is it red, black kind of thing? You know, I mean, I, that that's not necessary, sir. Sir, is there an emergency you need help with? You you cannot touch my peanuts, and that's what I'm trying to get at. And why am I transferred to you? Why why are you talking to me right now? I don't know. Why did you request security? Okay, well, I didn't uh, I didn't request security. What are you talking about? I was I talking to the front you. desk. I'm stuck in an elevator. Uh, I don't know what to why. do. They transferred me to you. Wait, well, what's yeah. your name? What's your name? I must, uh, which which elevator are you stuck in? Wait, whoa, whoa! You just dodged that question completely. I'm stuck in. What, what do you mean? What elevator? Is there multiple yeah, elevators it, or? 
I've is only it stayed to the there hotel like, or to the garage? less than one night, so. No, in the hotel. Wait, what's your name? Hold on a second. We we dodged that question. What's your name? You just dodged oh, that question look. completely. Yeah, what's your badge number? What's your badge number? Oh, we don't have those. Yeah, what, what do you mean you don't have those? What are you, a cop? Security? What are you? What are oh. you, guy? You're Logan. Yeah, what, what's your badge number, though? What's your badge number? Are you on? What, well, what's it, which which what security company? Good? Which which security company you work for? Are you stuck in an elevator, sir? Yeah, and I'm in the hatch up top. I'm. Ooh boy. Oh, I'm stuck. I I'm stuck with a couple guys here. Can you hear big stupid Axva talking? I'm on uh, drugs. All right, which uh, I don't which know. Hotel? Is it the if well, it even the masquerade? Yeah, I don't know if that helps you or not. I'm on a lot of drugs. Like, uh, not psychedelics necessarily, but I'm on, like, stimulants kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Does it help you at all? Determine which no, hotel I'm at? To, I just need to know which elevator you're in so we can help well, you. Well, here, let me t- let me tell you the drugs. Yeah, marijuana, cocaine, speed, methamphetamine. Does that help you at all, or do I need to keep going? Thank you, Bond. Sure. Well, are, are, are you okay? What was your badge number? I'm sorry, I forgot that part. Oh, I don't have one. Uh, but which, which you, you, elevator? Is it the Ipanema well, Tower, the Masquerade Tower? Do you want to talk to Big Stupid Red up here? Sure. Okay, Axpa, you there? You hear me? Hello? Hi. Hey. Yeah, so I, we we're we're in the we're in the the elevator. We've been pushing the buttons because it, it's it's gotten stuck. Okay, and which uh, not, which elevator? Going. We're in the hotel. Okay. Hotel, hotel, hotel. hotel. We what, pushed, uh, you know, we tried to open the door. Ah, ah. My which uh, out, which tower were you? Feeling. Which the tower were you at? Yeah. Which one? Oh God. You know the one that's like right when you drive in, you see it? That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the elevator number? The big, the big fat elevator. The one, oh, that's, the one that's yeah. on right now. It's We're in it. Great. Well, what's it say? I, uh, it, it'll I say know? underneath uh, where it says the, the floor number. It'll say underneath that. Well, that's off. It's Are you off. sure it's not on the ceiling? Because he's or? going up on the ceiling. Yeah, he's up there. He's pushing the buttons on the service unit up there. But it's not doing anything. Uh, is it the, the guest elevators? Yeah, it doesn't go. It's not going. Uh, We're in here. Uh, Manual says two. Walk... What does two mean? Where are you guys? Do I press two or? Manual says you two. get this elevator to go, uh, what... or I'm gonna have a what... go at you. What's the uh? What's the highest number floor? Well, fuck if we know. We're uh, we're on top of the elevator, dipshit. Oh, look at the buttons. I made a poopy. We uh, can't see you the buttons. buttons. Hold We're it. on top of the elevator, dipshit. We can't well, see the buttons, you numbskull. Well, you should hop down. We're trying to buttons. figure out how to get out. It it stops. Can, can you help us, or do you know how the elevators work? I mean, are you stupid? Why are we talking to you? You're literally fucking me Big right stupid. now. stupid? Can you believe? Fuck. Yeah, if you just hop down and look at the buttons, that'll help. <laughs> Why, why do we need to pop down? Why don't you know how the elevators work, big guy? Do you just want me to come there and bend over in front of you? Yeah, so what, what's, uh, what's the highest elevator floor? How are we supposed to know that? Are, are you touching You look us? at the buttons. Like, do you, do you just not I care? Or... I ain't looking at shit. You're not going to get shit from me. All right, boss. Have a good day. Hey, so please don't do this. <laughs>
All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming and gathering for the family Madhouse Militia grouping right here. Every Friday night, 10 p.m., we get together, we drop the dimes. We just ask you, give us a time. You bring your friends, or better yet, bring your enemies, because they're going to be welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia. And as you can see, all the fun that can be had, all the kids here get along and play nicely together. That's right. We are saving the world one lap at a time. Because remember, laughter gives you strength over adversity and pain so always laugh and smile and keep it in your heart that's the hermanito and i and the credo of the madhouse militia and i want to thank mir my brother dear axel helping me carry this gigantic torch forward and bringing the message into the new crowds of fans and friends that's right thank you so much brother axel and thank you dear family for all your participation and laughs to be had we will see you next week mm -hmm.